Juan from Cyber Tech Lighting. It is July 20th, 2022. I hope everyone is doing well. I wanted to review or go over the wiring of uh, a new product of ours. This is a battery backup for UFOs. And this battery backup is our model BK300 UFO. Uh, it is a Belita product. And what I've done is actually, this is what the product looks like. And I have a, a unit here, and then I have a wired unit here, and we'll go over the wiring. But the unit basically comes with two screws. You unscrew this, this out. It also has a number of knockouts here, and it has also an indicator light to show you that it's working. And then of course, some couple more knockouts here. Uh, it, has, it has quick connect wire nuts inside these are now lock nuts so they're real, real secure and each wire is marked to tell you what it where it goes to or what it's connected to um, and so each wire has a little label that marks it and each one is with a quick connect wire nut so that way you can make sure that you are not your, your connection is nice and, and tight um, it also comes with uh, a stem to be able to mount on the bottom of the unit. This is a standard for most um, most UFOs. So the, the stem uh, screws are the standard. And then they go into this unit here. And then it also has an eye bolt that goes on the top. The eye bolt uh, and the unit has a check nut. And the check nut is available or in, the, uh, in this baggie here. Um, it also has a couple of O-rings that you can put from the top and the bottom, so that way there's no water to be able to come in. Uh, it also has a couple of extra wire uh, wire, wire um, uh, gaskets for these little screws in case you lose them, so it comes complete. Now it has these um, quick watertight connectors where you're gonna put in your wires coming in, and so the watertight connectors, there's a few different types. There are some that have a larger hole and some with a, a, a slimmer hole depending on the wire size. So you want to make sure you find and use the right one for the right wire. Uh, comes with the instruction and the instruction has multiple types of wiring for this unit. Of course, it tells you how to wire and go to the junction box, wire with a whip, wire and a hook with the, uh, with the unit. Uh, and it has all the connectors and so forth it talks about. Uh, but the wiring diagrams are in multiple ways. In other words, you can wire it with a switch, a wall switch that's dimmable. You can wire it without a, without a wall switch um, as well. You can wire it with a low voltage motion sensor and our unit is a has a low voltage motion sensor that we sell separately. And in this case, I've put one in here. Basically, it just screws right in. And we've done a video on how to install and set that sensor so this is the what we're going to be wiring this stuff here it also gives you wiring method for uh, wall switch with no dimmer and then a external sensor um, that you might have so how would you wire to that so we're going to go with this one here and i've got a little bit more detailed wiring diagram for this right here uh, showing the the colored uh, wiring and so forth that makes it a little bit easier for us to understand so um, what we're going to do first is that we're going to we actually have take you have to bring in the uh, the driver power wires this is the power wire if you did not have this unit you would use this power wire and wire it for the for this demonstration we've actually not cut it to the size that we need we've left some extra here <clears throat> but usually if you what you would do is you would feed it through you would cut it to the size that you need, and it's a little bit of extra inside. And then the balance is what you would use to bring it in from, uh, so that way you can connect to your uh, junction box up on, on the ceiling. So here uh, I put a separate wire in here. So what you're gonna do is, we're gonna look at the hot side, which is the LED driver wires coming up, and then the wires coming from outside in. Now, the, the, there is two connectors that you connect to for wires coming to from the driver and another one, to, a second connector, second connector here that will have the wires to the uh, coming in from the power. What I've done again is fed through the fed the wires through 
and they come with of course black white and green uh, and so put black white and green now this also gives and this drawing it shows you an option of a switch and we're not going to be putting a switch on but what we're going to do is we're going to take the line and we're going to split it into two so i've taken the line and i've split it into two because this this gives you an option of connecting to a a, a switch and this is the red wire and the red wire is marked here that's the red and it and it's line out so the line out which is from the switch is going to uh is a red wire and what, again we're just splitting it into two here and just feeding it so we've got we find the one that has the connector that has a white black and red which is this connector here it has white black and red as you can see and so we're going to bring the line in two split of the blacks black going to black one black going to red and the white which is neutral going to neutral this also has the green so what we're going to do is we're going to put the green on a separate connector this the connector comes with it so it would just go there um, so we're going to we've done with the power hot power coming in now the hot power would usually go to the driver and so now what we're doing is we're bringing the driver up to this unit so now we're going to find the driver here going up to the unit and it's going to go to a connector that's going to have a blue brown and green blue brown and green you have three wires coming which is uh, a which is going to be black black or white and green coming from it which is a standard colors of, uh, of a power wire so we got we find the connector this would be your connector and it again it has all the marking it says driver line driver neutral and then ground so you're going to find that connector and you're going to bring in your wire from the driver connecting it to connecting it to the green to green um, green to green white it to blue and uh, and black which is line to the brown and again it'll show you on the label saying brown is uh, brown is line blue is line neutral and green is, is ground but you've done that so you've done the hot side of the unit then you're going to move on to the low voltage side which is the dimming wires now the dimming wires are coming in from the driver and and they they go to the motion sensor since we have it pre-wired in our unit this wire goes down right to the motion sensor we actually leave a wire type connector there to if in case you want to use uh, if you want to install a battery backup to be able to separate out the two wires so they're already pre-separated they're under inside with the watertight find that watertight connector un, undo them bring the the one that goes to down this one goes down and into this motion sensor and then this one goes uh, directly to the um, uh, from the driver these two were connected together as a norm to be able to run that motion sensor now we split them and brought it into here and then we're going to wire inside here so this this again you're going to find two two connectors for that and here you can see that there's two connectors for that one has a red purple and pink and now Pink sometimes is a gray wire on many of the um, the um, uh, the units uh, LED units. When you go to the dimming function, you'll find that is a is a purple and a a gray wire. But the pink in this case, it's the pink. You got the three, and then you've got one connector with two, just purple and pink. The purple and pink for this connector is the one that goes to the sensor. So the sensor wire coming up. We're going to go to the purple and pink. And we're going to find the two connecting um, unit and we're going to put that directly into the purple and pink purple and pink wire here so i have connected it right here as you can see now it shows that the purple and pink coming from the from the uh from the sensor there's also a black wire now sometimes the wire could be a yellow color and in this particular instruction sheet it actually shows it as a yellow color so you're just going to have to say okay purple and pink are the uh, are the um, the dimming wires and usually it's 
Sometimes it's a black, sometimes it's a yellow, and in this case it's black. So the, those are the uh, low voltage. Now since this is a low voltage system, and it's on the output side of the driver, it's not hot, how does this motion sensor, once the, there's a switch that's turned off, how does it, um, how does it know uh, when it needs, it, it has to have some power coming to it. So there, the way that the system is that it constantly gives you a, um, a low voltage 12 volt, so you've got to connect that 12 volt. So the black wire here is, is, a, uh, is, is for the uh, 12 volt. Now, the black wire from the motion sensor crosses over and it goes to the red wire of the second connector. So the black wire goes to the red on the second connector, but the purple and pink, or purple and pink on this case, comes to that connector from the driver, not from the motion sensor. The motion sensor purple and pink is on that separate driver, which we've already connected. So that third wire, the third wire that I have, which is the black wire coming in from this, this lower wire, pink and purple have connected to the pink and purple on this thing, which is a two wire connector. And the three wire connector has a purple and pink. It takes it from the driver, but the black is going to the uh, to the motion sensor on the bottom. So you gotta make sure you cross that. Once you plug that in, and when you put these wires in, you, you can basically basically put, pull this all the way up, you push the wires all the way in, you lock it in, pull the wires, make sure they're nice and tight. If, you're, if you don't make sure, and let's say one wire is not in correctly or tightly, and you're gonna be looking to find out, hey, what's going on? How come this is not working? Because one wire is gonna be loose, you're not gonna be able to, to understand why this is not working correctly. So you gotta make sure that all the wiring is tight. Now we've connected the all the purple and pinks. One is from the, mo from the motion sensor across to the other connector, and then uh, from the driver connected to, uh, to that, uh, that three wire connector. Anyway, so now the, this is done here. And so your system is done, uh, everything, the wiring is done. I'm going to go ahead and really quickly test it and leave it open. And to test it, I'm going to power it up. I put a quick connector onto this unit and I'm going to plug it right in. Once I plug it in, it goes to full power. And what you're going to do is we're going to test it with this, um, this test switch. Now, of course, this is this is the indicator light it's you see it's on right now the motion sensor is uh, working so it, it 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 was you know it, it, we've set it for 30 seconds it shut off anyway so you see the indicator light is on that means that there's power coming to the battery backup everything is good this when it's up 20 feet up you can't really test it you can't press you know there can be a press switch up on there you're not going to be able to get up there so we we sell this um, remote separately and this remote can be used in multiple fixtures it can work on any of the fixtures if you've got five of them on there you just need one remote you're basically going to point it towards that uh, indicator light and you're going to hit on and that's now dimmed down you can see that it's running off of battery power this 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 unit is a 30 watt unit uh, and so 30 watts are being put in a power is being put into this this fixture is a a unit which is for every watt it gives you about 140 lumens so what you're going to do is for every watt being 30 watts at 140 lumens you get about 4200 lumens so you're getting about 4200 lumens out of this during that now the indicator light has shut off because it is on a test now i'm going to press off and you'll see the indicator light go on and it goes to full power so basically that is um, the method of wiring, you just need to make sure what the, all your wire connectors are good and tight and you are good. It's going, again, it's working, the motion sensor is working the unit. Um, I hope this covers and it, you can clearly understand how to do this. Again, all the instructions are there and the wiring wires are all marked. Just got to make sure, again, everything is connected and if you find some issue, most of the time there's some mix up in the wiring so you got to make sure that the wiring you go over it again and again make sure you're tight on the wiring and then you're good i think that pretty much covers it i thank you very much